Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite and in this video I will show you how students can use this tablet for maximum productivity and what are some limitations. The first important feature is note taking so you can use Samsung notes and it has all necessary tools available. If you want to bring any image or text from Google you can also bring it just open the internet browser in split screen okay and then here you can search any image on Google and if you like any image you can just press and hold it and you can drag it into your Samsung notes and then if you want you can change size you can change position you can rotate it as well same way you can also bring text okay so you can open any website okay and then you can just select the text for example I select this text and then I can just drag and drop it like that and then if you want you can also edit this text as well okay so for example if you want to use uh, the highlighter if you want to edit it so for example i want to write here i can also write okay i can use the highlighter over here okay so all the tools i can use i can use the eraser i can use the selection tool as well the uh, next thing that i want to mention here is you can also export your notes in six different formats so you have pdf file notes file word powerpoint uh, and text file and then if you want you can also use the voice recording option you can record your lectures as well and then uh, when, once you finish it will automatically save so you can make your notes and take your lecture as well you can also do the categorization so you can create folders and subfolders according to your subjects and in those folders you can make your notes the next feature is about PDF annotation you can use this PDF plus icon and you can select any PDF file and then you can annotate your PDF file in Samsung notes so all the tools are available okay so for example example if you want to write with the pen if you want to use the highlighter tool you, you have different kind of highlighters with different thickness you can use these highlighter you can use the eraser if you want to write you can also write the text in your uh, pdfs okay and then if you want you can also export your pdf in different formats okay now the next thing that i want to mention here is you can also add pages into your pdf so here you select these three dots select this add page option select any template and here you see we have a new blank page available in our pdf file and here in this page you can write you can make your notes the next feature is about multitasking so you can open three apps at same time for example if you want to take your lecture you can open zoom and then you can open another app for example like this note taking app okay so you, you can work on both of these apps the third app you can also open in a pop-up view so all of the three apps are working perfectly fine in multitasking the next feature is free Microsoft Office web version. So you can open your internet browser and you can use Microsoft Office for free. I made a separate video about it how you can use. So you have PowerPoint option so you can make your slides. Okay. And then you have the Excel option. So on Microsoft Excel you have all the tools for example formula. Okay. Insert page. All the options are available. You can also make your assignments in Microsoft Word. So all the tools are available over here so guys if you don't want to use a uh, microsoft office web version you can use google docs you can download it from play store it will also helpful for you for make your assignments you can also use google slides for making your presentation you can also download it from play store it has all the necessary themes all the important templates are available uh, in this google slides okay and it will work same as a powerpoint okay so you can use this for your presentations okay so for example if you want to select different templates so here we have different templates option for the work for education for personal so you can explore this google slides as well guys if you want to study for a longer period of time you can use this eye comfort shield option okay so it will work as blue light filter and you can study your ebooks whatever you have you can study for a longer period of time using this option 
the next important feature is the calendar app so in the calendar app you can set your reminders you can make your notes uh, for your exams okay so you can set alarm okay so this will be really helpful in your productivity now let's talk about some of the limitation so guys this tablet does not support active s pen the stylus i'm using is amazon basic stylus it will work on this tablet but it has some limitations for example now i try to write so it will not allow me to write properly it sometime got stuck okay the next thing is uh, it does not support palm rejection technology so for example if i rest my hands on the tablet and i try to write i am unable to write so this is the second limitation also you see it makes ports over here if i rest my hand on this tablet so these are two limitations that you have to face so in using the pen tool you will have some difficulty even if you change the pen uh, it will not allow you to write properly for making your notes so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much